So recently we've had uh, a CSGO update that changed the revolver slightly and the Negev. We had uh, a couple of different tweaks to maps as well, but one of the things that we didn't see is a change to the UMP, which a lot of people in the scene, uh, players as well, really consider the gun to be overpowered uh, for a number of reasons. Uh, its cost is it's only 1200, it has high armor penetration, meaning it's uh, pretty good in gun rounds. It gives uh, a 600 kill reward, meaning if you uh, get two kills or a kill and you die with the bonus, you can easily rebuy uh, again. Uh, it has pretty good um, accuracy while moving as well so all in all the gun is probably too good for its cost and for the reward that you get maybe the gun in itself isn't that overpowered but when you combine all of those things together it makes it pretty broken so uh, I wanted to do a video about how this changes the meta game a little bit and how this influences like the early starts to the half so I, I'm going to use uh, the SK versus North game at uh, DreamHack Masters Las Vegas. And now this probably uh, exa not exaggerates, but maybe uh, magnifies the problem a bit more. Why? Because SK is a team on one hand that when they win the pistol round, you can see that they're perfectly happy with using uh, SMGs, UMPs actually on all five of their players because that gives them a lot of utility uh, as well. I just need to unbind space real quick. Okay, so that gives them a lot of utility so they can fight maybe a force buy from the T's. Well, North, on the other hand, is a team that doesn't really force buy. They just buy Deagles. Uh, they didn't have the bomb plant in the first round, so this is where some teams would force buy like Tech Nines and maybe a couple of grenades and, and try to win around. They only buy Deagles with the intention of doing some damage, keeping pressure on the CT economy, but not really hoping to win the round. So let's fast forward it to the next round so you guys can see what's happening. You can see that two rounds, uh, no bomb planned for the T's. Pretty clean uh, second round for the CTs. They only lost one player, uh, Taco, who is going to be able to uh, rebuy again for himself. I'm going to fast forward this a little bit. You can see that he again buys a UMP. You can see the money on the CTs. Besides Taco, who rebought for himself, they all have a lot of money in the bank. Again, the T's this time around don't even go for the Deagles, they go for a full eco because they want to have all the utility, the Molotovs, the Smokes, the Nades, AKs, perhaps an AWP if they want one for the first gun round. But here you'll see what's going to happen. Actually, I'll just fast forward this again because the kills aren't really that important. You can see another flawless round for SK. Now let's just play it a little bit so they buy and then we'll, we'll pause it again. So they rebought all of their nades, the T's bought as well. And now look at this. This is like uh, very important. The CT's have 8,400, 54, 45, 6K, 6K. Meaning if they lose this round without getting a single kill, you know, they're going to have almost 10K on fur. Everyone else is going to have 6K almost at the minimum, which means you can rebuy... Uh, M4, you can get as many AWPs as you want, uh, auto snipers if you'd like, and you'll still have all the utility, the smokes, the incendiaries, all of that, which is very important on the CT side. Now look at the T side, they spent all of their money for this buy, only Cajun is left with $500, he went for the AK instead of the AWP. So let's just play this round so you guys can see what happens. Now this influences a lot uh, the manner in which SK can play. Sure, they're limited in a sense, they kind of need to look for close quarter battles, but you can see how you know loose they can play. They can boost up on uh, on mid, they can boost towards A. Uh, you can see that Cold Zero was playing aggressive towards B. He was killed, I think, through the smoke, or maybe he was trying, yeah, he was trying to push on the edge of it. Config was ready for it. But in a round like this, because of the money situation, SK doesn't really need to go for uh, winning the round. Like, they don't need to win the round. Obviously, if they win the round, even with SMGs, it makes it even better. The point being is, if SK loses the round, but gets three kills at least, even two kills, that forces the T's to rebuy. Maybe they don't have all of their nades, and SK has a full-on healthy buy. 
and that's where you know you're at an advantage as the CT. Uh, Phelps gets a kill, gets immediately traded, uh, and now North is most likely going to win the round. The question is, is SK going to be able to get any more kills and do more economic damage? Here you see Fallen gets one, and this is where Taco and Ferd obviously don't have to save, they only have SMGs. They realize, you know, SK realizes this, obviously, they only need to do damage in this round. This is like a bonus round for them, and uh, if they manage to get an extra kill and they both die, that's great. That's almost as good as a win for SK, because in the following round they're going to have a healthy buy. So I'm going to fast forward some more. You can see that Curry is actually looking for a kill. He gets that third kill. And now you're going to see, look at their buy. Fallen and Cold Zira, you have the double op on them. Uh, three M4s, all of the nades, five defuse kits. Well, on the other hand, you have a Galilo Nazi. And sure, the rest of the players have a good buy. They, ho they have all of their nades. They have uh, all of the AKs. But with the double op, especially against a team like SK, that's something that's a, a very powerful setup for them. And they still have some money left in the bank even if they lose this round in the next round fur can drop an op you know they, they keep pressuring uh, the t's economy the t's need to win consecutive rounds in order to uh, force uh, sk to go for an eco round and also because like north went for double eco they need to go for some of their you know best Rats, one of their better uh, T-sided uh, executes that they have in the first gun round. Otherwise, they're probably down 5-0. And you definitely don't want to be 5-0 down against SK because that's when they usually run away with the game and, uh, as CT. So you can see that Confi gets tagged early on by the op towards B. He has to play way more passive towards that side of the map. The, the T's are spread out in a default. They're waiting for some early aggression. Config gets caught by Cold Zero on his way out when he was trying to uh, retreat. So now they're a bit cornered. They lost their pressure towards the this side of the map. You can see they throw the same smokes again. But SK realizes they have uh, a man advantage. They don't really need to play aggressive towards mid. They just need to play the sides. They have the man boosted up in the shroud position. They have two players uh, on B still with the op, which is very difficult to... Uh, negate his influence without a Molotov and they only have one incendiary on AZ so you know you can only use that on one spot obviously he doesn't even throw it he just runs in as, as the first guy in and I think this is where they're even though Kozira is missing a couple of shots this is where uh, it gets very difficult for for North to to win the round they get inside the bomb site but the rotate is uh, already there the rest of the SK players, they just need to play together. There's not a lot of time. Uh, they need to play this out as a unit and they're probably going to, to win the round. It basically comes down to North having to make a play uh, to, to try and win the round, but it's uh, too difficult for Cajun. You can see that there's even an uh, incendiary left to molly out this spot. And obviously this is the position from which you defend the bomb. So that's where you see all the extra utility coming into play. And sure, they get the bomb down. They can have a decent buy. But SK, on the other hand, again, can have the double op and uh, all the M4s and, and all of the good stuff. So you can see that North uh, goes for a half buy. They're going to buy some pistols, a couple of nades. So this is the thing. This is my point for this video. It's not exactly... It's how pressured you are in this current meta game to force by early on the t side uh especially when you play against someone like sk who you who goes with a lot of smgs right uh after they win the pistol on the ct side the problem is if you force by st you're probably going to have a lot of tech nines pistols right so Obviously, you want to try and get like into close quarters combat with the Tech Nines because that's where they're more powerful. But on the other hand, it's also where the UMP is more powerful. It's more powerful close range than long range. So then again, you're not really, uh, you don't really have as big of an advantage in that type of a situation as you would like to on the T side when you force buy. And you can see how if you don't force buy, you can be in a situation like uh, we see north right now where they are you know going for a lot of these pistol rounds pistol buys and you know the economy on the ct side is just getting more and more uh, racked up 
pretty much sure sometimes the, the CTs don't play it as disciplined and maybe they lose a couple of more players than they're supposed to. Like we see here, both Phelps and Cold Zero died. The round could have been a bit cleaner, but still, uh, in Tier 1, Counter-Strike, psychology is also very important, like the mental aspect of the game, having momentum and all of that. So th th that's another thing that you lose with playing a lot of like eco rounds or half buys and, and waiting for, for all of those uh, grenades and all of that stuff, all of the equipment, all of the utility to play the, the gun round. So I think this is one of the side effects of the UMP being so powerful, granting a large uh, kill bonus, being so cheap and so good against uh, full-on uh, rifles. Uh, I think that uh, that changes the way the teams approach the game in general, not just like, oh yes, I'm gonna buy a UMP instead of a FAMAS. No, it changes the way the teams approach certain rounds. It really doesn't allow you to eco uh, that many times, especially early on, because this is where, I mean, the game ended 16-14, in the end in favor of SK so it was a pretty close game in the end and you can see how important it was for them to get uh, such a good start you know if they had a weaker buy in that uh, fifth round the previous round maybe they don't win the round and that gives north uh, the map so yeah i think that definitely uh, this is a, a good example of how a certain weapon being overpowered doesn't really just mean that that gun is going to be used more it also changes the way uh, the teams approach the game and the way the game is played in certain situations. So I feel that definitely the UMP needs to be addressed sooner rather than later. We have the next major announce, the, the minor, uh, the whole cyclist is going to start pretty soon. So what I would do is you either change the gun slightly, if you're going to keep the kill reward and the cost of the gun the same, you need to like make it weaker because right now it's too good for the cost and for the reward, or you just uh, up the cost of the gun so you can't really that's another thing you get the ump with 3400 you can buy a ump uh kevlar with helmet and you can buy an incendiary and pretty much all of the nades that's just like too much you get all the utility and a powerful gun so you either need to make the costs higher so you can't buy all the utility with it maybe lower the kill reward so it's not as uh you know uh, attractive to buy it against uh, pistols to farm with the gun so to speak so it's not as good for bonus rounds but yeah any of those uh, changes i think or a combination of some of those uh, is something that needs to be done uh, because at this point it's just having too big of an impact uh, on the game which i don't think it's something that's uh, necessarily good so yeah that was it for this video make sure to subscribe to subscribe to the channel follow uh, me on other social media and keep an eye out for Star, Le Star Ladder this next week. Uh, see if this is going to be used in that tournament as well. And I think it's going to be a sick tournament in general. So you guys should definitely tune in and, and check out the games. Take care.